And he's underway. Frank, it looks like a good one. Yeah, it looked like a free-throwing swing, that's for sure. It certainly betrayed the nervous feeling that uh, we thought he might be feeling on the first tee. And a huge tee shot. But you've been there, Frank. Nerves are good on the first tee, even for great players. If you can control them. Perfect lie here, Frank. What's Rory got? Well, I expect something just slightly right of the flag. You want to avoid the hill and the bunkers on the right. And there's a little bit of a, uh, a gut or a chasm just over that left side of the green. So left, not a good option. About 145 yards away. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Looks to be a good one, Frank. Oh, nestles inside 15 feet, so a birdie chance coming up for Rory. Frank, not only does Rory McIlroy have the physical tools that you need to be a dominant player, but he thinks clearly. Good head on his shoulders. And he's in that uh, rare company, four or more majors under the age of 25. You're looking at Nicholas and Tiger Woods, the only other two that come to mind. and. The styles of play, they're all different. And, and Rory plays his way. And I think you have to be a pioneer. You have to realize that your way of playing the golf is superior because to imitate at this level, you will not be successful. And early advantage, McElroy. I think making putts early in a round is very important. It, it sets the tone for the day and it gives you some positive momentum early. You see the ball go into the hole and it gives you confidence. You face a downhill putt at a US Open with greens that are as tricky as that. It just makes it even more difficult. I feel like you always face important putts no matter when it is, but Obviously, they're that much more important when, you know, it's the final round of a major. Now over to the second, and McElroy with a challenging downhill putt. Frank, I know it's early, but if he drops this, this could really spark some momentum for the round. But this putt will be very, very quick. You've got to be careful because the ball can quite easily take off once it gets past the hole. We'll make birdie if he holds this putt. Down in the bottom of the barrel. Good start for Rory McIlroy. Back-to-back -back birdies. So second shot here at the fourth, and this one sets up pretty well for McIlroy, doesn't it, Frank? It's an easy one for him to work out. A little bit uphill, perhaps a club. 
and uh, with 165 yards playing closer to 170, 175, still a birdie opportunity. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. So Frank, out of the bunker and back into play. Yeah, the late Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's always the next one. Well, by getting the ball back in play, he just made that a little easier. No, it's a good strike, good swing by McElroy. And no problem finding the putting surface. Yeah, that really hurts, Frank, missing the bogey putt. Yeah, not, now time to get the handkerchief. Double bogey coming up. There's some times when there might be a wait on a tee box or you've played your shot and you're waiting on your playing partners to hit their shots and, and you just look around and you know, you realize, you know, where you are, you know, because you don't really, you know, you don't appreciate it that much whenever you're, you're playing and, you know, that's not what you're thinking about. You're thinking about trying to win a golf tournament and not really, you know, taking in the beauty of your surroundings. Rory now set to go on the downhill par three ninth hole. It's nicknamed Olympus and you can see why the views are magnificent. Consequently, gonna have to be a club or two less than the yardage. It'll have to be factored in. If anything, slightly left of center, stay away from that menacing bunker. 